Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of a Hot Dang Show. Well, I think we're going to have to go without the limited today because I believe he's having trouble pushing out his mummy bears from his tum tum. I heard that. Anyway, it's going to be me for today. Well, I have a special sauce today, and this is Torchstone Thai. But Torchstone Thai is a collaboration of Torch Barrier Sauces and Brimstone. The story I got this is uh, Vic Slinko, for those who don't know who he is, he has the largest collection of hot sauce in the house. And he reaches out to me and says, hey, Roger, I uh, got a friend of mine who would like you to review his sauce. And his name is Brimstone. I'm like, who? <laughs> Brimstone is a cool guy. We chatted for a little bit. But anyway, you can check him out. He got his own website called the grindhouseradio.com and the real brimstone.com. Brimstone went to New York Hot Sauce Festival a year or two ago, and um, he met up with uh, Torch Barrier Sauces. And later they became friends, and they decided to do a little collaboration. Oh, by the way, the sauce label design is totally awesome. I love the style and the vibe from this. And they could consistency with the other uh, Torch Barrier sauces lineup. But they could really cool. I really love it. It looked like a very delicious sauce from what I read. It got honey, brown sugar, water, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, tomato puree, scorpion pepper, papaya, pineapple, garlic, Carolina Reaper, diesel white vinegar, molasses, Carolina oil, onion, salt, garlic powder, mustard powder, curry powder, crushed red pepper, cumin, lemon juice, and chili powder. Man, this sounds like it's going to be a flavor bomb sauce. Now, this is about the right consistency that I'd like in any hot sauce. I mean, I do like a, a thick mash sauce, not a huge fan of vinaigrette sauce. But this has got a nice consistency, the way I like them. Got the scorpion pepper and Carolina Reaper, so it, it may be hot. Okay, it looks like it's Perforated, so easy to open. I hate using a knife. But. All right. Ah, got a lot of tomatoes. That's what I'm picking up. I'm kind of hoping picking up some cumin because cumin is one of my favorite spice. I don't know. Well, like, like have a taste, uh, a pour, so see what it looks like. All right. Okay, come on out, come on out, come on out. The anticipation is killing me. Come on, there you go, there you go, all right, here we go. Love the consistency. Got them little pepper flakes. I love the consistency. Hmm. Uh, like, like very tomatoey paste, and uh, I'm not picking up any sweet. I um, hope I'm okay, but let's have a taste. Mmm, there it is. Mmm, ah, yes, that is a very tasty sauce. I'm gonna have another one. Mmm. When I say honey, you, know, you may think like, well, oh, that's gonna be an overly sweet sauce. It is not. Perfectly balanced. It's a flavor bomb sauce for sure. Ah, it's so delicious. Um, now I wonder what should I put this on. Uh, this awesome sauce will go great on anything you put it on, but we highly recommend tossing on your wings. The sweet heat of the sauce will pop. Well, it definitely pop. Um, unfortunately, I don't have wings. Well, it's because I don't like wings. I don't like bones. I do, do like nuggets. But, however, you know, when I read the bottle, it say Thai. My wife made me some, some delicious dish. 
they could fill up in on this. And to be honest with you, I forgot what they're called. Pablo? 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 <laughs> it looked like Pantic, and I know what Pantic is, but this one's called Pablo Book. P A L A B O K. Pablo Book. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, okay, what it have? It had um, noodles, shrimp, onion, and egg. Um, it does come with a sauce. I didn't put any sauce in it because I want to use that one. La la la. Okay. Yeah. Many of you uh, say in the comments that I raise a lot of sauce. Well, that's just who I am. I love putting a lot of sauce on my dish. Um, I mean, if they're good, the bottle could be gone in a day or two. All right, here it is. Hmm. Bon appetit. Mmm. 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 The sweetness of this sauce on this dish is phenomenal. Great on shrimp. It's so good. Honey. I'm picking up cumin this time around. And even though I smell a lot of tomato paste or puree, not with the taste. Mostly honey, brown sugar, cumin. Ah, look at really delicious. Brimstone, you have a winner here. This is a great tasting sauce, and I would recommend putting on any um, Asian dish, especially with this one. Okay, I'm sweating. Why? Where did I put the heat level at? For the chili head, it's manageable. Is it hot? It's manageable. I put it around maybe a three for me, three or four. It could definitely a um, a hot sauce. Uh, for the nine chili head, it's gonna be up there. And damn it, I'm sweating. You think it's time for me to have a towel, the hot Dan towel? Let me know in the comment below if you have a better idea. Wow, <laughs> I like this sauce. But anyway, for the nine chili head, I I would put it up to six or seven or maybe eight for some of you out there. Oh, they sent me a really cool patch. It's a torch barrier sausage. I like. I'll bet you it's sticking my head. I told you. <laughs> anyway, that is cool. Anyway, um... Torch Burger Sausage and Brimstone, you got a winner here. I highly recommend this. And again, I will put the link in the description below so you click on it and head on over to the uh, site and order these for yourself. And be sure to uh, check out the uh, Brimstone uh, podcast. I have been listening to it. It's it, it entertaining. It's funny. And um, don't try to keep up with everything he does. You, you never finish it. I tried. But he does have some really interesting content out there. I love his animated series. I mean, you could probably find somewhere on YouTube. But uh, again, all the information will be in the link uh, in the description below. I am sweating, but this is so delicious. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. I really like this kind of shrimp. Well, I think that's all for the show for today. And I'll see you next time on a hot dang show. Hmm. Man, this is awesome on shrimp.